Hello and welcome to Super Sports Women TV. Nat Edwards and Mel Jones with you all. MJ, let's kick things off with tennis and the French Open is just around the corner. Proceedings, of course, kick off on the 21st of May at Roland Garros and Serena Williams, a 13-time Grand Slam winner, has had a perfect preparation. She's won the Madrid Open over the weekend, beating Victoria Azarenka, the world number one. Well, it's a massive win for, for two main reasons. Azarenka has won the last four tournaments, she so has. she's been in absolutely brilliant form. But then when you look at Serena herself, this is her 13th consecutive win on clay. Mm -hmm. So On blue you, clay, no less. That's the one. So you really love this kind of form for her coming in. She was just exceptionally powerful, 14 aces in the game and just really blew her off the court. Yeah, 6-1, six, 6-3 six, was the scoreline. And uh, we should mention Samantha Stoza. She made the quarterfinals of the Madrid Open. She lost 7-6, 7-6 to Lucy Hradrecker. So that was a very, very close game. Could have gone either way and good preparation for her as well. Well, yeah, once again, don't lose faith in Sam here. Even if you haven't heard of Hydreka, she has had played an amazing tournament. So it's almost played out of her skin. So really good signs again for Sam coming into Definitely. the French. All right, on to some surfing news. And Sally Fitzgibbons has backed up her Bells Beach win with a victory at the Billabong Rio Pro, which is fantastic. It's her second ASP world title event victory for the season. It is, and I'll tell you what, that race at the top of the table at the moment oh, is getting yeah. closer and closer. So there's only 1,500 points now between mm. Steph Gilmore in number one position and uh, and Sally. Now, for those that don't follow the, the surfing that much, 1,500 points isn't that much. It's 2,000 points between a first position and a second position. So those places can change very, very quickly. It can. So there's two world events or world title events left. So not long to go. No, it's very, very exciting. It's certainly heating up in the surfing world. All right. And the ANZ champs, well, the big news is the Melbourne Vixens, their unbeaten run has come to an end. They entered round seven, six from six, but the New South Wales Swifts, just too good getting over the top of them, 55 to 52. Yeah, look, a really impressive performance by the Swifts, and they're on their home court, and they'd certainly talked it up before the match as well, that they weren't scared of the Vixens, and they came out and played exceptionally well. It was the Vixens' first quarter, mm. it was really, really good, but then they fought back. Sonia McClomer was fantastic she in defence, as well as Gerard, and they really shut down Caldwell and Howarth. They did, and Susan Prattley, of course, was great for the Swifts with 31 from 34 goals, which is great news. Just looking at the other results, and the Adelaide Thunderbirds absolutely smacked the West Coast fever, and that has propelled them to the top of the table. Look, they've played exceptionally well. They've only lost to the Vixens, so it's just been that one loss for them. They're playing very, very well, and certainly a lot of confidence coming out of uh, South Australia at the moment for the, for the netball girls. And the other result also just recently was the Firebirds last night got over the Canterbury Tactics as well. So after a slow start for the Firebirds, they're now back in fifth position as well. Yeah, that's great news. All right, on to some racing. And Michelle Payne, we wish her all the best on a speedy recovery, but she had a fall in Donald over the weekend. She fell off El Divine and she managed to fracture five vertebrae and broke two ribs. Yeah, look, really nasty fall. And it's, it's not the first nasty fall that Michelle Payne has, has suffered. The horse basically knuckled at the, at the yeah, barrier, yeah. so it was right at the start of the race. Um, so very unfortunate for her. She's actually also missed out on an invitation mm. uh, to head overseas to represent all the female riders of the world as well, So, including a race over in, um, in the Middle East as well. So really unfortunately timing, but uh, here's hoping that she's, this is going to be awful, get back, gets back on the horse as quickly well, as possible. Well, she definitely <laughs> wants to, and uh, she's a very determined girl, so we wish her all the best. That's it. Now, the London Olympics, we're just two and a half months away from London 2012 and good news for one of our BMX bike riders, Caroline Buchanan, who has surged to the top of the world rankings. It's absolutely brilliant. She's a former um, mountain bike rider. She mm. swapped over to BMX and is just surging ahead. She's won the last two world titles, uh, the last one in Norway, and she's only two weeks out from Birmingham as well. Um, she's almost guaranteed pretty much that yep. spot for London, which is fantastic. All right, for all the latest news, don't forget to check out supersportswomen.com.au and you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We'll be back again next week but in the meantime have a good one. We'll see you then.